Hey guys, Chris Yarnett here for Card Player TV coming to you from the Pokestars Caribbean Adventure. Now before we talk about the main event, we have to talk about the $25,000 High Rollers Tournament. We're now down to the final eight players and the chip leader going in is Scott Seaburn. We got to catch up with him just before play started. All right, Scott, how's your chip set going into the final table? I'm chip leader, but it's very close between myself and Umberto, but I'm very happy, obviously, with the chips I have and where I am. So how did the event go yesterday? It went very well. It started off really slow, and I was below starting stack for the first around six hours or so, and only got some chips much later towards the day. Right before dinner break, I won a good amount of chips off Gus Hansen to get me to a just below average, but at least above a starting stack. And after dinner, then everything went really well, and I was just able to accumulate a lot of chips. Now, of course, with a $25,000 buy-in, we've got a really tough field. Um, have you gotten your table draw yet? Yes. And so how is it looking? It's a very strong final table. There is Umberto Brennis, myself, Nick Schulman, Elke bertrand Spellier, Danny Alai, Eli Alezra. It's a very stacked table. Well, I was going to ask you about your position in comparison to the other players at the table, but it seems like it's just going to be tough no matter what. Exactly. You're there is no good position at this table. Okay, well, with such a tough table like that, do you have a strategy going in, or are you just going to try and feel it out? Definitely feeling it out and seeing how other people are adjusting, because people play very differently when they get to a final table than they were the night before. They're arrested, they've had time to sit and think on it, dwell on how they're going to play the final table, and you can actually see individual differences from that. But I'm just going to play a tight, solid game and not try to make any big mistakes, because there are a lot of really good players here that, that could punish me if I did. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. We also talked to Elke Graspier, who's in the final eight, who seems to really like the PCA. All right, Elke, we caught up with you before the start of the main event because you're the returning champion and you felt really confident, but you're like, oh, let's not make the final table the main event. Let's do it in the high rollers event. So congratulations on the final table. Thank you very much. How did play go yesterday? Uh, it went pretty good, actually. Uh, uh, the slow start, but the structure was so good that uh, we really have a lot of time to to uh, build up our games and I was able to pick good spots so uh, I'm very happy with the way I played I made uh, one really tough call against some other player when we were down to uh, 12 or 13 so um, it, it went pretty well overall so I'm glad uh, how it went and uh, uh, I'm in a good spot at the final table, so I'm going to have to keep playing very well. How's your chip position? I'm um, third in chips, I think. I got 360. It's Scott Siever and Umberto that are more than me, but they're kind of far from me, so it's not that dangerous yet. And, uh, right. I'm pretty good in chips here. Well, I think they're calling you, so we'll let you get away, but good luck. All right, thank you very much. Now to the main event. There are just over 100 players left, and the chip leader is David Baker. Among those at the top of the chip counts are Dan Heimiller and... Max Pescatori. Day 3 is going to be an exciting one, so make sure to check back on CarPlayer.com for more video updates. I'm Christiana for CarPlayer TV.